May we make personal development simple? Stay tuned. Hello again, everyone. I'm Eli's dad with Project Eli, where we educate, lead, and we inspire. Now, you know, many books have been written about the secret to success. But you know what I found? There are certain rules that are helpful, but you don't have to do everything perfectly to come out a winner. It's kind of like driving. Do you ever go through a yellow light or roll through a stop sign? How about exceeding the speed limit on the highway? If you don't get caught, you still arrive at your destination, don't you? There are little tricks that you can use, though. For instance, if you're driving a long distance on the highway, did you ever pace yourself behind a car that is going over the speed limit? You mirror that car's speed at a safe distance, and if that car gets pulled over, you slow down and go on like the innocent angel that you are, right? My point is that if you follow most of the rules and laws of success, you can still arrive at your desired destination. Let's look at a few essentials and see how you're doing. First. Do you have a burning desire to achieve something specific? Why not? Here's the rule. When you really want something, all of the universe conspires in helping you to achieve it. That's why you need a definite goal to be successful. Casual desires will not get you there. The universe wants to help us advance the cause of, hum of humanity. Now that rule is a keeper. People that are most successful focus on improving their strengths and finding a way to overcome their weaknesses. For instance, being a technically challenged person, I found some teammates to help me produce and load these videos. My strength is producing the content. I seek to be creative in that arena and I always encourage Amber she of the outstanding editing skills, to use her creative brilliance to enhance our message. The real winners in life have taken what they are very good at and focused on becoming world class. Are you going to pay big money to someone that has taken a skill where they were less than average and worked their way up to average? I'm not. Focus on your strengths. Not only that, but don't you have more fun when you're doing something where you excel? Make it fun. Now I have some bad news for you. Here's a spoiler alert. I know the ending. You're not going to make it. Don't take life too seriously. You're not going to survive anyway. Your life can be so much more fun if you embrace this truth. There are secret opportunities hidden inside every failure. As author Sinem Gunnell tells us, and we're going to be using her article uh, here, it, it's a tremendously good article, and I'm quoting, too often we give up after facing challenges and failures. Yet most of the time, failure is the best opportunity for growth. Instead of being angry or frustrated because of a setback, you can be curious and choose growth over misery. Seeing the positive during negative times isn't always easy, but it is priceless. By the way, uh, the title of, of Simon Gunnell's article is Seven Underrated Truths That Will Change the Way You See the World and Yourself. She also tells us that life is about creating opportunities. Did you ever wait for the perfect opportunity to do something? Well, most people do so. So many spend a lifetime thinking that one day they'll be ready and the perfect opportunity, the perfect job, the perfect partner, or the perfect moment to leave the country will cross their path. The reality, however, is that opportunities are no co coincidence. Every single day, you're responsible for creating your own opportunities. You need to abandon the stuff that doesn't serve you and actively create a life 
that will reward you with amazing opportunities. The quality of your life is determined by how much responsibility you take for anything you do, think, and say. If you take responsibility, you can create a life you truly love. But if you spend all your evenings watching TV instead of fighting for your dreams, you'll need to accept your current reality and the fact that nothing will change if you don't do so. Treat your mind like your money. Don't waste it. Along with your time, your energy is one of your most valuable resources. If you have lots of time but no energy, you won't be able to live a great life. Your energy level is defined by your physical as well as your mental capacity. If you always consume redundant or repetitive information, you waste your mental energy. By doing so, you won't be able to, pro to be productive and lack mental clarity. Every single day you're bombarded with millions of sales messages, ads, product descriptions, and much, much more. This overstimulation costs us more energy than we're aware of. That's why it's so important to control your media consumption and reduce redundant information to a minimum. Life is not about finding yourself. It's about creating yourself. Particularly young people often go on a journey to find themselves. The truth, however, is that you'll never find yourself. You can be and become anything you want. All you need to do is make a conscious decision about who you want to be and show up as that person every single day. You can choose from endless opportunities regarding your career, hobbies, relationships, and everything else that defines your life. What matters is that you make a decision. Most people waste their time tiptoeing through life for decades because they don't know what they truly want. Instead of asking themselves who they want to be and how they want to live, they try to find themselves, not realizing that they can be whoever they want to be. You don't need a backpack across Asia to find yourself. You need to practice self-reflection and figure out who you want to be. You need to decide what you want, do the work, and leave room for the universe to make magic happen. If you don't know what you want, you're never going to get it. Sometimes the greatest things in life look like a coincidence. By setting an intention and letting, a go, and letting go of how it will happen, you can attract even more of these magical coincidences. Once again, a big shout out uh, to Sinem Gunu for that article, great article, and, and just want to end it right there because we never end a meeting on a philosophical note. Why don't we all get out there and charge? I'm Eli's dad.